Hi, and welcome to In The Loop. I'm Danina O'Donnell, and my guest today is Matt Cunningham, who's the general manager of the Butler Blue Sox. So Matt, I'm always astounded how many people still do not know who the Butler Blue Sox are. So tell us, Matt, who are the Butler Blue Sox? Well, you're right. It's a very well-kept secret in <laughs> Butler here. Um, they're a collegiate summer league baseball team that, uh, that consists of players coming from all over the country, from uh, very elite colleges, and they're spending their summer days here working on their skills, develop, developing their craft to uh, hopefully pursue a career in baseball. They go through the summer months from uh, the end of May till the beginning of August, and uh, we play here at Pullman Park. We play 30 games, and we have several promotions throughout the year. And uh, it's really an exciting, family, fun-oriented uh, environment here that uh, people at Butler should really check out. Now, you have some events that are coming up that I wanted to talk with you about. Um, one, you're having a celebration on July 19th, I believe. Can you tell us what that's about? Yeah, that's our uh, 100th game here at Pullman Park. Uh, the Blue Sox have been around since uh, 2009 here in Butler and uh, we're celebrating our 100th game, uh, a huge milestone here in Butler, so we'd like to invite everybody to come out and celebrate with us, and uh, we've got a lot of exciting things planned that game uh, to try to make it, uh, as I said, a, a huge milestone for our team. Okay, and I know that um, Armstrong is going to be broadcasting that game live through our coaches round table, but I, I encourage people if they're not able to get here in person, they can watch it there, but it is really fun to see it live. Um, the other thing that's coming up is July 26th. I believe you've got an important concert coming up too that night. That's right. This is a, a unique event. We've never done this before. On the 26th, we're going to have a very special performer, Scott Blazy, uh, the lead singer of the Clarks. Uh, we'll be performing on field following the game. Um, immediately following game, we'll try to get him out there on st the stage as quickly as possible. Uh, and the fans can enjoy a nice concert. We'll invite them down on the field, and it'll be a real fun event for, for all the fans there that night. And, and I'd like to also throw in, I believe that's Breaking Bread Night as well, Armstrong Breaking Bread Night. So fans will be encouraged to bring a, a non-perishable donation for the local food banks, and they'll be able to meet and greet Scott Blazy outside the front gate, as I understand. That's right. Scott will be out here in front of the park and uh, meeting the fans, signing autographs, taking pictures. And uh, he'll also be singing the national anthem before the game and throwing out the first pitch. So uh, Scott will be all over the place that night, and we're happy to have him. And uh, through the great relationship we have with Armstrong and Breaking Bread, it, it, it should be a great night overall. Well, I hope that everyone out there tries to make it to Blue Sox game on July 19th for the 100th anniversary and on the 26th for the Butler, for the Scott Blasey concert. Um, like I said, you don't know what you're missing if you haven't been to a game. I really appreciate it, Matt. Um, where can they go for other information about tickets and, and getting a seat? Um, you can check out our website. It's butlerbluesox.net. And uh, there's actually several ways to get your tickets. You can call us. Uh, the phone number is on the website. It's 724-256-9994. Uh, uh, give us a call. We'll take an order by phone or email. Uh, the email is on the website as well. Um, or you can actually pay for the tickets right on our website. It's a new feature we have this year. Go to our schedule page on our website. And just click on the schedule, uh, the game that you want. And you can pay for them right then and there. Uh, we also have our tickets available at uh, the Butler Next Year Bank locations. So for your convenience, there's multiple options that uh, you can go get those tickets. All right. Well, thanks, Matt. I appreciate the information. Hopefully we'll get some more people out to the ballpark, especially on the 19th and the 26th for those games and for any games that are remaining in the season. For Armstrong, I'm Danine O'Donnell, keeping you in the loop.